What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I just have a short and simple visual effects tip for you on integrating your CGI with your live action shot. So recently I've been working on this sort of industrial style flyover shot where I've added these pipes and uh, you know this dome kind of extending this dam in this live action shot here. And it's sort of a work in progress right now, but my plan once I've created the general CG elements that I want to add to the scene is to fracture and destroy this dome here utilizing our chaos destruction tools with uh, lots of small scale debris and stuff like that. But in the process, I learned a few things and I thought I'd just share this one tip with you guys. So as you can see here, the scene setup is pretty simple right now. I've 3D tracked our live action footage in our motion tracking tab here. And then I've just, uh, you know, recreated the geometry of the scene. I have a few different view layers here. I have one for the dome. I have one for the pipes and walkways here. And then I have some environment projection as well as a plane here for the reflection of our various assets in the water here. So I'm going to be going through this scene in detail once I finish it on this channel, as well as going through a tutorial on how to fracture and destroy the dam once I do that process as well, assuming it's a result that we all like. But in the process of this, I learned a few things specifically in lining up our CG with our live action shot. So as you can see here, if I disable some of our collections here, I'll just disable everything except our dome collection. One of the trickiest parts of this shot was just lining up the geometry to be integrated into the live action shot. So so as you can see here, the dome here that I want to add to the live action shot to destroy is not just being overlaid on top of our footage as something new, but is actually supposed to be sort of an extension to uh, the dam that's already here. So one of the trickiest parts of creating the shot was actually lining up the geometry here. And you can see that the geometry is not lining up perfectly. Uh, it's pretty close, but some of the edges over here are definitely not lining up with the edges of the dam in our live action shot. And of course, if you want to be really precise with it, you can definitely spend some more time and line it up. Um, one of the things that I found to be pretty useful is under motion tracking. You can actually select the points that you want to create a mesh from and then you can go to reconstruction here and then add 3D markers to mesh. And as you can see here, if I go back to layout mode, we have a new mesh here that contains mesh data for all of the points in our 3D track. So that can be helpful in reconstructing the real world environment inside of the computer as you can sort of connect these points and make planes and you know use that data accordingly. But one of the things that I found to be super helpful in integrating this with live action, whether or not your geometry lines up perfectly, is actually sort of hiding the seams where the CG element lines up with the original live action element. So I'll show you what I mean here. As you can see, this is the original dome that I've added. It's just a very basic concrete texture. And of course you can, you know, reproject the actual texture of the live action shot here on the dome itself. So you can definitely do that as well, but I wanted to use a slightly different material and this one is all procedural as well. So I wanted to experiment around with that. But one of the key elements that I added here to blend this all together was this uh, walkways and pipes collection. I've taken some uh, walkways and pipes from our City Builder 3D add-on for Blender and I've just overlaid it on top of our live action shot here. And specifically, I started out with the walkways and pipes along the seam of our dam here. So you can see that it's just kind of hiding where the CG dome and the actual live action uh, dam here are connecting. So I've just used these platforms here and I'll go a little bit further here into the shot. I'm just using these platforms here to just hide where the live action concrete stops and then the CG concrete begins. And also, as you can see here, there's some kind of water stains on the live action shot. So it kind of makes sense that there's some kind of seam here as far as the logic of the environment. So anyways, I've added those walkways to hide that seam there. And then of course, I've separated our different elements into their own separate view layers so that in the compositor, I could have a lot more control. All right, guys, so I'll show you in the compositor just to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about here. So here we are in the compositing tab. This is my final composite so far. And obviously I have a few things to work on here. It's just a work in progress, but I just wanna show you the different layers I combined to try to get that dome to integrate into our shot. So I'll start off with turning off everything really quick, all of our alpha over nodes. And I've just overlaid here our reflection, then our shadow pass of uh, all of our pipes and everything. Then I've overlaid the dome and this render layer. And then finally, this last render layer is our pipes. So I'll turn all these off here. So this is our shot without anything added. And the first thing I added to our scene was the dome here. 
So you can see if I zoom in, the render layer is just showing our dome and we're just gonna overlay that on top of our footage. I've added a little blur and RGB curves here. Just go ahead and bring that to one. And here's our dome overlaid on top of our shot. And as I mentioned, not lining up perfectly. Of course, again, we could change that to line it up much better and you know reproject our actual material onto this dome. But another way to integrate this, whether or not you're very precise in lining up your geometry is to hide that seam. So the next layer that I added was the uh, foreground walkway and pipes and I've also run this through a blur and RGB curves node to adjust the colors a bit so I'll bring this back up to one on the factor and as you can see here this specific walkway that curves around our dome here is helping to hide that seam where those two elements join and then finally I've added our reflection overlaid on top of our shot as well as well as our background shadow so I'll go ahead and turn those on to show you the final result so far and I think I may have uh, overlaid a little bit too much reflection there as it's a little bit dark there we go that's a little bit better but uh, just a little quick tip for you guys today to integrate your CG into your live action shot a bit better. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.